Breaking new details on the death of Walter Wallace Jr., the black man shot and killed by Philadelphia police who say he was armed with a knife. Let's go live now to NBC 10's Mitch Blocker. Mitch, you have information on the police body cam video and 911 calls. Could the death of Walter Wallace Jr. lead to police reform in Philadelphia? Is what so many are wondering. And, and the answer is yes. Within the last 30 minutes or so, we hear from the mayor, the district attorney, the police commissioner about reforms that they plan to make in terms of how police will respond to mental health calls. We've heard so much about how Walter Wallace was in a mental health crisis when police uh, ultimately shot and, and killed him. Uh, within the last couple of minutes, we uh, heard from the uh, police commissioner and as well from the mayor. The city is now going to uh, have mental health calls when they come into the city's 911 center. Behavioral health staff they'll immediately get involved. This is a new plan, new training, both in de-escalation and crisis calls for officers and police, including dispatchers who actually uh, dispatch these calls. That'll start next week and run through 2021 until the entire police department is trained. That is according to the police commissioner. Now, city leadership, they say that there's going to be a, a real shift on how they think about treating mental health and substance abuse issues in Philly. They're not going to treat them as crimes. They're going to treat them as, as crisis calls. We've previously reported how just a third of Philadelphia cops are armed with those non-lethal stun guns. The officers involved in the Wallace shooting, they had body cameras. They did not have tasers. And the mayor says he's now talking with the city council about equipping every officer with a taser. He said that he is committed to not letting Walter Wallace's death be in vain. Here's the mayor and the district attorney. We know this moment is incredibly painful given so many failures over generations to protect all of Philadelphia's residents, especially those who are black or brown. When a mother was trying to get help with a situation involving her son who is blameless for having mental illness, that when she did that, government failed because her son was killed within a minute of government's arrival. As a part of government, I apologize for that.